Arcade, and this is my Spider Man character creation, like the amazing Spider Man. But you get the choice of using two different kinds of colors because you know it can look bright or dark, it depends. Now, I'm gonna go for Spark Large because I don't want him to look like a little kid because he does when you do the smaller ones. I mean, look, medium's all right, but I'm gonna go for large just to make him fill out a bit. So, but you can choose whatever one you want, it's all about the colors on this one as well. So I've given you two colours just in case you think it doesn't look like the Amazing Spider-Man, um, it's too dark or too bright. And I'm going to give him a backpack as well. So obviously you can choose what you want here, whether you want him serious or what pose. But I always go for Primal when it comes to something like this. I was going to go for Comical, but Primal sort of gives him that ready look, like he's about to jump and dive into action. And also it's your choice or mentor, whoever you want to choose. I've never really cared too much about this bit, it depends who I'm playing as or who I want to be. Now I didn't really know what to choose on this, do I choose ice because it sort of resembles a web in a weird way? But again, it all depends on what you'd prefer. For this one I think I'm going to go for sorcery, just because I really couldn't think of what to do. And on this you're going to want to go to acrobatics, because Spider-Man jumps around and climbs everywhere and it works well with that actually. And you're going to choose martial art for this part. You can remove the blades as well, so don't worry about that. People telling me how to do it, I finally know. And now we're going to make Spider-Man's costume. So just follow these steps. If I go too fast, just pause it and then go back and watch it. Because I think that's the easiest way. But I'll guide you through it. So go to gear. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to head. And on head, select this mask of full domino. It's probably the only one you can use for Spider-Man. I used it on my previous Spider-Man video anyway. Don't worry about the eyes, we can sort that out later. And then go to chest to give him his top half of his outfit. And go to stream slimline. Because that will give you the outline that you need. And then on back, like I said, I'm going to give him a backpack for this one. Because I think he looks good. So it gives him that young look, like the bug version of Spider-Man in the comics. And you already know. And then what we're going to do on here, on the legs we're going to give him the only one that actually works with this outfit as well. And you might not like it to an extent. It's the line slim line and don't worry about them lines on the side although noticeable they won't be so bad once you've coloured it in so just use them anyway. Remove the belt because you won't need it and that's the initial outfit. It looks a bit silly now but we're going to go to gear and make our palette that's when it will all make sense. Now I'm going to show you two versions of this as well one being dark and one being lighter. This is going to be the lighter version as well so I'm going to really tweak this brightness on this red to make it sort of like a primary colour so he really does stand out Now, like I said before I prefer it when it's darker but this one mm, I'm not too sure when I did play and use it I weren't too happy with it so if you want it's entirely up to you but then make your blue as well so we've got our red as number one and as number two we're going to make our, our blue again I'm going to make it very primary so quite bright as well so it does really stand out and your third colour is going to be white so then now we're going to go and customize our colors so on head we've already got the base red that's what we're going to need so just go through it until you've got just the eyes that are white so again they already match the eyes so that's already looking good for the face um, and then we're going to go to chest and just make the top base of that red so once we've got that together and the inside blue there you go so the top two of them are going to be red and the inside blue and already straight away that looks good the only problem is with white otherwise you can make it black but you have the black eyes and I don't want that so it's, the only annoying thing is the backpack's a bit too bright as I'd like it but again if you make it the darker one you can use black for the eyes you can use black for the eyes anyway and then when we're going for the part on um, the backpack itself that was the bit I weren't too sure about you know what to choose so it does look okay, you know, it's, it's like Spider-Man's got one to match his outfit or something. Because I, I really couldn't choose anything darker. When I did do the darker version, I didn't really like the eyes at all. But it was all I could do. So it depends on what you'd prefer. And then we're going to change the legs on the character. So when we do this, we're going to get the inside uh, blue. And on the outside, where the feet are, red. The only problem is you're going to have these lines at the side uh, that are going to be red. But there's no real way around that. So other than that, it don't look too bad. So I'd say get the bottom one blue so you don't have that triangle line. So it looks nice like this anyway. I mean, straight away you can see he looks like Spider-Man. 
and I think I prefer this one out of all of them and I will show you a combination between the two when your player has him running about fighting and stuff like that he looks pretty decent and you don't have to add the backpack remember that's something by choice I just thought I'd give it a go to see how it looked um, so again I'm tweaking around here to see if there's any differences but again there isn't this is pretty much the best you can do as Spider-Man I've done it before and I think I prefer this version in particular so as you can see him running about he looks like Spider-Man when you're climbing around he looks brilliant believe me and this is the darker one I'm not too sure about it I could I made it a bit brighter but it still didn't make too much of a difference so some of you might prefer it it's like an angry version and again when you go into your menu and go into style you can remove them blades so it just looks like you have fists so you don't have them blades sticking out when you're fighting so it doesn't ruin anything anyway hit me up with some suggestions either leave them on Twitter Facebook anything let me know what you think of the video and I'll see you next time bye